night, you guys. Okay, so I'm so excited to do this video and talk to you guys today because I feel like it's been a second. Happy New Year, you guys. I cannot believe that it's the, that it's that it's, uh, it's the first day of the new year. Honestly, I'm not fil filming this like a few days before, but it's just crazy that this is, it's just here. I feel like December went by so fast. I hope that you guys had such a great holiday. I really, I think this year enjoyed the Christmas holiday more than I ever have. And you know, I just, I feel like at the end of the year, it's a time to just like chill and reflect and you know, just kind of get yourself together again to start the new year so refreshed. And I feel like it was really, really like that. I feel like it was, um, I feel like it was really good. So the first video that I always do in the new year for the past like several years is my New Year's resolutions video. That is gonna come up on Friday. So you're gonna have a Wednesday video and a Friday video. So check back in a couple days for another one. And it's like, I feel like, you know, November, December, it's all very, I mean, I do know what it is. It's, it's, it's gift guides, it's clothing, it's, you know, just so many things, holiday looks, like clothing looks, fashion stuff that I feel like it's very heavy, like with that. It really does feel like a lot of the beauty stuff kind of like has not been talked about in a while. And I want to just give you guys this definitive list of just amazing things from the year. And, you know, things that really changed how I do my makeup, how I look, how, you know, just beauty things that are just the best of the best that I just really fell in love with this year or that really kind of like, you know, was always in my routine this year. I feel like this was the year of like, you know, as I got, as I get older and as I just, you know, I've used so many things here. This has been so long that I've been doing this on YouTube. This is my, it's my 12th and my 13th year. I started in 2008. I just, I think it's my 12th. I just feel like, you know, I'm over the gimmicks. I want to use things that work and I want to use really good products. Either I'm going to invest in a really expensive product that really like changes my beauty routine that really is like worth it or an expensive like beauty treatment or a procedure. Be judgy, but it works. You can't argue that it works if you do it right. I've done, I've done videos on that, which we'll talk about in just a second too. But um, you know, do what works. Whether it's like a $2 thing that you buy, which I've got so many great things that are, you know, inexpensive. It doesn't even matter. I don't like generally to do videos where I'm like, oh, you know, I'm gonna blow it out at the drugstore or this is just all my high-end stuff because that's not how I see beauty. That's not how I, I don't really see those categories. I just use what works. Whether it's a $5 concealer that's better than a $60 concealer, which I do have one of those, um, or whether it's something that, you know, I do splurge on every now and then. There's it's a treatment. This year was kind of like the year of, the beginning I said, you know, I'm gonna, you know, in my resolutions video last year, I said, you know, I'm really going to do more like skin treatments. I'm gonna take care of my skin. I might get some like lasers or do something like that, which I did learn this year that because I do have um, elasma, I can't do a lot of those um, lasers. You know, I can't do heat lasers because it just brings it out. So I've done other things to take care of my skin to, I feel, look better. 35, I'm definitely not like a little old lady. I'm not saying like, guys, you know, I'm just like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying at this point, even in your 20s, we need to be doing things to take care of ourselves, to not fight the aging process. I don't like it when people say, oh, I'm just, I'm no, I don't do any of those things. Usually those are the judgy people. Um, I don't do any of those things because I just like how I, I'm just gonna embrace aging. Well, I'm embracing aging too. I'm just taking care of my skin. It's about taking care of your skin. It's not about changing the way that you look. I got such minimal Botox this year. I think in January was when I tried it. It's changed, it's changed everything. I just, I love it so much. Um, my skin, my forehead just looks smooth all the time. It should not change the way you look. It shouldn't make your facial features look different if you've gone and it made your eyebrows up to here or droop. Someone did it wrong, you know what I mean? And sometimes like if uh, over the years as you have aged, your brows have drooped a little bit, well then you can address that. You can say, look, I wanna, you know, look like I'm, you know, like I did look. You know, I want my brows to be like where they, normally are then they can do things to lift them but when i go i'm just like look i just want to look like myself i just don't want my forehead lines and um that's what it does and i love it i can still i'm still like super expressive um it doesn't change anything with my eyes i don't get it around my eyes i don't get anything around my eyes i did a little bit of lip filler and that has changed i feel like it balanced my facial features 
I just love it. And I think, you know what, if you want to do something, do it. You know, embrace it. Just do your research and go to someone good. Go to my girl if you're um, in the Atlanta area. She's said that so many of you guys have come and that she's just, you know, she really has enjoyed meeting you guys. So let's talk about some beauty products. So another thing this year was the year of, and I do have something new to show, things that have really, I just, I feel like I look, honestly, I will say this, I'm not trying to sound like, eh, but I do feel like I look the best that I've looked in a long time, like as far as my skin and my face and everything. And um, even better than when, like 10 years ago. And I think it's a little bit because of that. When my Bot I've had times when my Botox completely wears off and it's not noticeable. It's just noticeable for me, but I do love that my skin looks um, really smooth. But this whole facial massage thing, and this is a new thing that I'm gonna show you guys. I did get this for, for Christmas. It's changed. I uh, I just, I love it so much, okay? This is my little inexpensive one that is just so worn in. They get better and better as you use them. They just roll so smooth. I will link to this, and I believe this is like, it's like $10. Um, don't spend a ton on them. They're rose quartz or jade, you know. Be smart. Don't spend like six, 50 or $60 on one. Grab this one for $10. I, every morning, roll my eye area. It's not puffy. Like, I've said this before. You could be like upset. You could have allergies. Your eyes could be so puffy. You could look like, ugh. You could roll this out and your eyes just look refreshed. I get like all into my, like right under my cheekbones. That's my favorite. And I really get in there. Like, I'm not just barely rolling my skin. That's not gonna do anything. It's facial massage. You really wanna like get in there. It's draining all the puffiness from your face. That's a legit thing. It's not like a woo woo thing. I feel like over time it's gonna like do something for your muscles and lifting because as I do it I kind of feel like you feel other areas of your face twitching So you want to get in there until your face starts twitching, okay, and then you know really press and, and get down under there It's just wonderful and then uh, my mom threw this in with some of my Christmas stuff and it actually came with a roller on the end but um, I just use this end but it actually vibrates and I love doing this like with my serums and it just I feel like when you touch it to your skin right here, I just you could feel it like in your sinuses and just biggest thing though, especially like the roller, not so much because it rolls, but something like this, if you're rubbing it over your face, make sure that you put a serum on or a moisturizer that makes it really like glidey. And um, I really do feel like that's doing great things for my skin. My eye area looks smooth. I've had people say like, what are you doing with your eyes? Is that filler? Is that this or that? If you look at my Instagram photos, I feel like my eyes look different. I have zero Botox there. I just have the tiniest bit, like I said, um, here. And I, she doesn't put any in my eye, any around my eyes. Um, I, Cause I just don't want to lose like the smiley look of my eyes or anything like that. Um, but it has really changed this area. Okay, enough about that. I do not want to be a slave to my makeup every day. I want to love what I'm using. I don't want to feel like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm having to use all these different things and it's just like a big fiasco. And then when I get done, I'm like, well, I only look like this because I've spent an hour on myself and I'm wearing, you know, the whole beauty section of the department store. I like to use simple things that make a big impact. I feel like this is such a pretty look, but I use like one product on my eyes. And I am kind of honestly, I hate to say this, I feel like it's kind of over. I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna say that, but I'm over palettes. I'm over this whole hype of eyeshadow palettes and a new one every week and that we were really like into and maybe still are, I don't know. I'm just saying from my personal experience, like I have not been into that this year. And you guys have probably noticed that I've I use things that work that are working so much better than the eyeshadow. First of all, it doesn't crease. Um, I don't have to use a primer. I don't have to do all that. I don't have to use a million brushes and tug on my eye area, which that's not good every day. I've said that before, but it's like I don't know why people don't really address that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I, I value my time. Like I want to just use what works. And I love a good, just all-in-one product that's gonna look like I've used a crease color, a lid color, everything. One product I can use, and that's what these are. And I just, these colors, first of all, I've got three colors of this product. This is the best cream, eyeshadow, whatever I've ever used. And it's the, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. And it's like a mousse, it's very unique. It's not like a cream, it's like a creamy mousse. It does not crease, it sets, you can layer it. Um, once it sets, it sets, but like, it is so good, you guys. You can use it with your finger. What I do, where's my brush? I just use it with this brush, and I literally don't use any other eyeshadow brushes. It is like, it's the E25 from Sigma, and I just dip it in there, 
put it all over my lid, put it in my crease, and it looks like I've used a bunch of different colors, and it takes one minute. And my very favorite one is the Marie Antoinette. Uh, that's the first one that I ever got. I love it. And then I got the Rose Gold, which you can tell I don't wear this one as much. What I like to do with this one is just take a little bit and dab it right in the middle, you know? I did that on Christmas. So it's a little rosier. But the one I'm wearing today is a new one that my friend actually recommended to me because I got her hooked on these. I was like, you have to try these. And she ended up getting a color that I didn't have and it's called Bet, like B-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. And so it's, I thought, well, that looks similar to the Marie Antoinette, but I think why I didn't get it. They look so similar, but they're this is the Bet, this is the Marie Antoinette. It's because the Bet looks a little more like golden and a little warmer. The Marie Antoinette is a little cooler, but still not too cool. And I'm drawn to more things that are like this, but I will say, and my friend said the same, she was like, I wouldn't have wanted something that was a little more like golden, because she's like me, she kind of likes the same tones as I do, but she was like, this is the best one. And I agree, like I do kind of, I, I am kind of preferring this one, because when you, and that's all that I'm wearing on my lids today is the bet. So when you blend it out, it looks like you've used like really warm, you know, like crease colors, and that you've used a blending color, all that, and it's like, I don't have time for that, I don't have, I don't want to collect 3,000 palettes. I have ones that I love. And who knows, maybe next week I'll find an amazing one and I'll be like, hey, I love palettes again. But I just, this year has not been that for me. And I just, I love that I can like go on a trip and carry just this and know that I'm going to look just as glam and just as good as if I brought like a ton of palettes and went nuts and like, you know, really like made an unnecessary big deal about it. So I just think, I just think that's unnecessary. I don't know, I just think those days are kind of like over. You know, I feel like we're kind of getting smarter about things and we don't need all that. Another thing, this is new. Um, as far as eye treatments go, this is not new and I'm, I'm gonna talk about that too, but I do have a new one to show you guys. Um, this is another great thing. Every morning I use this, it's the Chantecaille Rose to My Eye Lift. It's the one that I got during the anniversary sale. And it was just like in a set and I would have never tried this and it is the best product. I love it. When you first get it, you really have to press to get it out. My friend got this and she was like, okay, the product's not coming out. What am I doing wrong? You just really have to pump it a lot until it starts coming out. But it's a ceramic tip. Every morning I put this on and it just glides out. This is kind of a little massage -y thing in itself. You know what I mean? You can feel kind of, you know, getting, you know, all the puffiness out of your eyes. But I really do feel like it does good things for my eyes. It's a little bit of like a serum. But this is so good. Now this was a very inexpensive eye cream that I discovered. It's the Earth to Skin Banana Brightening Eye Cream. I feel like it does make my eyes look bright. I'm not, I mean, I'm serious, you guys. Like I do feel like it makes this look nicer, brighter, and I layer it right on top of that. And then my makeup applies beautifully over it, but it's such a good daytime eye cream. At night, this is what I've been using. It is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask, and it comes with this, like a little spatula. Don't throw that away, which I usually do, honestly, when things come with that. But it's such a tiny little thing. I've probably used a little over half of mine. You just scoop it out and you put it on. I put a lot on and um, just rub it in to where it's a little sticky, where you can't see the product, but it is a little sticky. I get it all around right here, right there. My eye area looks smoother, it doesn't look crepey. I love it, it's such a good product. So I do feel like you know the things that you apply to your skin obviously make a difference, that's why we're here, we like to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, but if you have not tried this whole facial massage, you guys are missing out. I really do feel like over time, it's it's, it's gonna really make a difference, but honestly, like I, I crave it when I wake, I, I want to use it every day, and at night I can't wait to like get my makeup off and like rub my face. So, and that's something I never did before. I never got up into like my face muscles or like touched any of that, which is weird, you know what I mean? But there is something to, um, to facial massage. I have so much stuff to show, I'm like, how am I gonna get through this all? And I'm really like no, oh my gosh, like no um, rhyme or reason, but I, I am seeing a few things, like as far as like, you know, I guess I kind of started it off with like anti-aging and how your face looks and your eyes. I do feel like that makes the biggest difference. You can have the most perfect makeup or whatever, but if you haven't taken care of your skin, there's only so much you can like cover up. And I think, you know, like I said, it's not even about not having wrinkles or aging, you know, not fighting aging, but it's like, I'm not having my late, my wrinkles like removed. I'm just taking care of my skin so that it stays in good shape. And I think that everyone, um, I think we can all do a little more of that. The Shiseido Rico Resist 24 Pure Retinol Express Soothing Eye Mask. I've fallen in love with these, I only have a few of them left. 
these are so great and um, this is something that I did discover in the last like few months but at the beginning of the year and even like a couple years ago you know I had used those little eye patches every now and then it was just like a little frou-frou like whatever when I was feeling fancy kind of thing then I discovered um, I, I love the Elemis ones which I don't have any right now these are the only ones that I have right now um, the oh my gosh what was that other brand the Thal was it Thalgo loved those and the little purple packets I loved those and um, any that say like hyaluronic acid just love and I, I've been using them regularly I don't have as much like crepiness when I smile it's a legit thing zero filler zero Botox in my eyes total products and facial massage and the rolling that I feel has made the biggest difference with my eyes um, but I really do love these these Shiseido the wrinkle resist I've already said that they are so wet though that when you use them you it is kind of like whoa because it's like the product is it's very a very wet product but I kind of like that because I feel like I'm you know it's actually doing something so I um, mean then afterwards you can really kind of just pat it in so that's really nice maybe year before last maybe beginning of this year I was using the by Terry under eye concealer a lot and I really loved it it was like $64 it was like a um, under eye you know anti-aging serum and a concealer in one and I'm like I like that I like to use like a double duty type of thing and when it ran out, I went back to this. It's the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I used this years ago. I remember when it very first came out, when the foundation came out. The foundation is really good too, and I don't think that gets enough love um, or talked about a lot, but that is a good foundation. But anyways, the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I used every little drippy drop of this one. I'm not kidding, it really makes your eye area look like porcelain. It's smooth, it does not cake or crease. It's just so great. And I use the Fair Shade. They have changed the packaging and the label just a little bit. So um, don't be fooled. It's the same thing, but um, such a good product. And I even considered like, oh, should I try the By Terry again? And I was like, no, like this is so great. This is one of those things that I just, I can't live without. Even if I'm not gonna do like my foundation or do a whole lot every day, or even if I don't have like a lot of dark circles, I just like using because I feel like it's doing something good for my under eye area. And speaking of that, you know, this year I have not done a lot of like powder. That's been me for like several years and it's been so much better. You're going to see in a second, especially when I show the next product, that it's like I am just, especially this year, I've been not about the gimmicks. I don't want to use a million unnecessary products to get the same, if not like worse, look. You know what I'm saying? I feel like sometimes when you kick on too many things, it's too many things, you know? And, um, you know, simplifying things and not using like a ton of eyeshadow palettes, which I'm gonna talk about that in a second. I feel like my eyes look better. I feel like, okay, whatever, we're gonna talk about that. But um, this is one powder that I really do love. And it is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Again, anything that says hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic anything, I'm just like obsessed with. Around my eye area, I don't like to bake on my pout, my you know concealer and do all that. I'm not trying to do that. But I do feel like if you can find a powder like this, it's, it's like almost creamy, it's so great. I take my beauty blender and I dip it and I just, when I'm done with my concealer, I just dab it on with a damp beauty blender. And um, it just, smooths that area it makes like if you have like a little line there or you know if it looks a little hollow or you get that little you know thing it makes that less apparent it sets your concealer I hate to say that because I don't think you have to set everything um but it's really good okay oh my goodness I cannot believe I'm just now talking about this you guys I'm not kidding oh my gosh so oh my gosh and then I see something else listen we've got so much to talk about just stick around okay something else that has made a huge difference and this has just been since July when I started using these um, brow and lash serums y'all my brows have filled in so much I've, I'm I don't even have to fill them most days when I do it's just the most minimal and um, I really like this new brow. I got it during the anniversary sale and I love it. It actually works. It has filled in this area that I've always struggled with where I had that scar. It's actually amazing stuff. And I grabbed this too during the sales, the Revita Lash Eyelash Conditioner. I've always heard of, you know, lash serums and, you know, years ago I used a really gentle um, brow serum that did work, but it, did, it was not like this. This honestly, the best. 
Um, but I was always scared to put things around, you know, my lashes because I have ha I, I have good lashes. People that know me in real life, my friends, my family, when they see like what difference this has made, they're like, okay, you've always had good lashes, but this is crazy. You know what I mean? They have literally doubled in length. No joke. You guys have seen me for years. You know, I'm not wearing anything other than mascara. No false lashes, I mean. They thickened up. They looked like bundled lashes or something, like little bundles were coming out. They got long. Like when I wash my face or when I'm in the shower, they feel like, like when they get wet, I can feel like they're heavier because there's more hair. They're longer. They're just kind of out of control. I love this stuff. I will never be without this. I just think that it is something amazing to invest in. You know what's very strange? Years ago, maybe like 10 years ago, when I was a kid, when I was in high school, everywhere I would go, people would say, oh my gosh, your eyelashes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now you have to, th and then, you know, over the last several years, people don't really say anything. It's just kind of like whatever. And I hate, I hate to say this, but I do feel like it's because of Instagram. It's because everyone's wearing false lashes. Everyone's used to seeing big, crazy lashes. When I first started my channel here, it was a thing. I know you guys, I've said this before. People thought, oh, you're a liar. You're wearing false lashes. Like blah, blah, blah. That was like what people kind of associated with me was like, oh, her lashes are crazy. And then I noticed as the years went on, people didn't say that anymore. I mean, of course, like, oh, you know, your lashes are pretty, whatever, but it wasn't like it used to be. And I think, like I said, it's because people got kind of like desensitized to it. And um, it's, so it's weird now over the last several months everywhere like people are like holy like what do you use on your lashes what kind of lashes are those i'm like no these are my lashes so it's kind of funny and that's i guess how i can tell that it is a huge difference one i can tell because it's obvious but um people really do notice them and what i'm wearing um is a liner this is the best liner i discovered this year the best liquid liner and it is the um it's the tom ford the eye defining pen and i mostly use this side it has the longer brush and it is, um, it looks black, like that's what I'm wearing, but it is just a tint of brown. If you looked at it, you'd say, oh, that's black, but it's not stark, stark black, but it's got the end that is a stark black that's a little more like felt tipped that is um, a lot darker. It's just what you prefer, but um, such a good product. And then you guys, this is probably the best pencil liner and what I wear on the daily that I've discovered, and it's the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. I have never had an eye pencil like this. It looks like one of those brow pencils, which all brow pencils should have this little clear protector on it. It keeps it from breaking. Kind of genius, the packaging. The smudger actually smudges, or maybe it's the product. I don't know. It's so good. You can get it right up at your lashes. With my lashes being thicker now, I find myself not wearing eyeliner a lot but I do like to have a little bit of definition and this is just enough where you can put it right at your lash line, smudge it out. This espresso color is really, really good. They come in all different colors. You can get black or whatever, but I really like this just for on the daily. It wears really well. Um, such a good one. And then the brow pencil, I mean, I've tried so many brow pencils, but this is honestly the best one. It's the Revlon Color Stay in Blonde. That's the shade that I use. And um, it is very unique because it is not like every other little, like I said, thin little, you know, like the Brow Wiz or, you know, all the brands make those now that last for just two seconds. Like they, they run out in like a month um, if you're actually using them. And it's not like the big wedgy ones either. It's kind of in between. It's like a thicker round pencil that has like, it, when it starts, it's like a, a wedge, of, a, but it's round. And then as you use it, it's just the perfect size to fill in. And it almost is a little thickening. Like it almost feels like a pomade. I don't know, it just really transfers well onto you, but it um, stays put. Once it's on, it's on. It has a spoolie, which is essential. I don't even buy brow pencils or anything unless if they have a spoolie made into them because it's just a waste. So um, this is such a good product. It's probably like my third one that I've repurchased and I really, really love that. Fragrances, like the first part of the year, I just, I've really been into, I mean, this has been kind of my go-to. It's kind of replaced my Gucci too because I love Gucci too, but it is harder to find, you know, and I think it is actually discontinued now. But the Misty or Blooming Bouquet, 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 is such a great scent. Blooming Bouquet. Why does that not sound right when I'm saying it? Misty or Blooming Bouquet. Okay, whatever, I can't. Such a good one. I think that's just such, I mean, it's just my go-to. Chanel Riviera, the Paris Riviera. This one is so good. 
Brad even really, really loves this one. It has that Chanel kind of like old school scent to it. it you need the tiniest bit of this because it is strong, but it has like a floral hint to it as well. But um, it's such a good classic one. But recently, I purchased this. It is, but recently I purchased this from Nordstrom. You can only get it at Nordstrom. I am not kidding you guys. I, fragrance is one of those things where if you know you're getting asked about it a lot, you're like, wow, okay, this is different. This is something good, right? I cannot tell you how many people have asked about this, how many times I've had to like write it down for somebody. When I was in Hermes like a couple weeks ago, we were talking about um, fragrances and you know, we were just kind of like when we were checking out, we were looking around. And the woman that was working there was like, what, are, honestly, like, what are you wearing? Like, it's so, it's like the best thing I've ever smelled. I was like, oh my God, you know, and I was telling her about this and it was like later in the day. I had sprayed it on super early in the morning. Every time, every time I smell it, I, I think about my um, trip with Jen to Beverly Hills and I don't know, cause I just associate it with that cause I wore this while we were there. But it's, um, it's so good. You guys, you have to get this exact one. I will um, link to it. It's the Perfumes de Marly. And they have a bunch of different scents. This is the one that is exclusive to Nordstrom. It's a little rosy, it's a little bit, it's not like a sicky rose, it smells like sweets. It's just, uh, it's the most unique scent. I mean, at restaurants, I can't tell you like how many people ask me about it. It's just, it's just very, very good. I very rarely will get asked about a fragrance, like all the time, you know what I mean? Like occasionally someone will say, oh, I like that, but you know, and even like friends of mine are like, what, what are you wearing? That's so good. So, um, yeah, really, really good. Charlotte Tilbury, uh, pillow talk blush. I, I could get rid of all my other blushes and just use this. And I pretty much have other than cream blushes. I've got another cream blush, um, which is what I'm wearing today that I really love. I got kind of into cream blushes the last half of the year. This is the golden guava by Julep. And, um, I just, I love this. I just put a little on my fingertips or you can just kind of go like that. Use your beauty blender, use your fingertips. So good. But, um, this is the best powder blush. You can just swirl it all together use it or just use the outside and then take just that middle part and just put it like right here when you're done. It's so good. It's the most beautiful color. I think any skin tone would look beautiful in that because you know, I am a bit fair and I do have to be a little careful with it, but oh my gosh, like even darker skin tones would look gorgeous in that. This is sitting out and I, I mean, whatever, I didn't talk about it, but this is something that I have just loved for years and years, the Laura Mercier highlight. And whenever you guys see like a Pick, there was a photo when we were all in those matching onesies like at Christmas on Instagram. People were like, what's your highlight? What's this, what's that? If you ever, just just don't even ask, it's this. Like I swear this is just the best highlighter. I have so many different things, but um, this is just the best one. So good. And I'm um, still just using, um, this. this is like my go-to bronzer. I have a few that I like. I love that Physician's Formula Butter one that's like a powder, but this is just my go-to. I just cracked open a new one a couple weeks ago. Um, the uh, Bronze Universal. I just love it. It's just the best. And then lips, just quickly, I know, just to round out the makeup before I finish up with um, a few skincare things. The lip liner that I've used pretty much the whole year is the Dervish by MAC. I like Whirl. Um, there's a couple of different ones. Pretty much just like Whirl and this one, but Dervish is just the best of the best. I love it. It's just, it's like my actual color of my lips, but just a little deeper. But I don't wear a lot of lipstick. I just wear my, um, lip liner and some lip gloss. I just recently repurchased one of these and um, you can see, I don't know if you can, I'm almost out of it. I've got a little bit more left, but it is the lip treatment by La Mer. It's expensive, but it is so good. It plumps with just like a little bit of like a cooling feeling, really makes your lips look so much better. And um, the lip gloss that I've really, really loved, just any of these by Buxom, especially the White Russian, that's what I'm wearing today. They have some that are so pretty and sparkly, and um, I really do like the sparkly ones. I really like Kimberly. Kimberly's probably my favorite um, Buxom sparkly lip gloss. But my very favorite out of all of them is the White Russian, and that's what this one is. It doesn't have any shimmer, or frost, or sparkle, or glitter, but it's just really good. And you guys, I cannot believe I did not mention this at the beginning of the video, but this is back in stock, the Kate Somerville Anti-Back. We had such a freak out, I feel like around Gosh, was it like June-ish? I feel like it was a lot earlier. Anyways, I went to replenish mine. I just went to like, I think it was like my, my Nordstrom app or Sephora or whatever. Either, oh, I was in Nordstrom. It was sold out. I was like, hmm, that's weird, out of stock. So I immediately went to Sephora, it was out of stock. The first thing I thought, oh, they're discontinuing it. It is my holy grail face 
product. It's what keeps my skin clear. It's what keeps my pores clean. Keeps my skin from producing so much oil. It's um, the Kate Somerville anti back. It's just so good. It's gentle. I use it morning and night before my moisturizer. It's just, it's like, I can't live without this. I could find a new moisturizer. I could find a new face wash. Oh, it's bright coming home. Okay. I cannot find a new one of these, okay? It's just so good. So I Googled it and ordered like the last few from some website that had them. Half of them were expired, so I had to like send those back. I had like two of them and I was like really just conserving it. And I could tell my skin wasn't quite as good because I was using just like a tiny little pump of it here and there. And um, I usually just like load it up, okay? Like I've used this stuff for years, all right? And a lot of you guys do too because you guys were panicking. Like I've recommended this stuff for years. It's just amazing. When you use it, you get addicted to it. So um, about, oh my gosh, like it was right at, the so right at the beginning of December, I guess. I'm like, I've got to find something new. So I Googled like, you know, you know, benzoyl peroxide, 5% cream, whatever. And you get a lot of gels. I don't want that. I want this cream. It's a cream. It's luxurious. It's nice. It makes your skin feel good. And then this came up on Kate Somerville on Go Figure on the website. And I was like, and I clicked it and when I did it was back in stock and I was like oh my gosh so immediately I ordered them and I thought it was gonna be one of those things where it was like oh I'm gonna get an email like right after I order saying this product is back ordered and um, I didn't I ended up getting them it's wonderful it's back in stock everywhere Sephora has it again Nordstrom has it again so if you're like me and you're obsessed with this stuff grab you some it just that made my year that really did so this is like the best of every year, but I wanted to update you guys with that. Um, there's just nothing else like it. And what had happened is um, apparently they had some sort of manufacturing issue. I don't know if it was like a certain ingredient that they were trying to find from somewhere different. I don't know what it was, but it was a manufacturing issue. It's back, it's the same, it's wonderful. I'm so excited. And what else? Let me talk about, okay, so I've got a video coming up soon all about hair. So many changes, so many things I'm doing differently, so many like tips. I mean, you all knew, like this was the year of me growing out my hair because it was literally like this short, okay? Um, like I cannot believe how short it actually was and I liked it. I'm ready for like long hair again. So it's always tough in this stage when it's growing out, it's kind of in between. I'm trying not to trim it so much. I know it needs a trim, but I, I'm just gonna grow it out till it gets a little scraggly or more scraggly than it already is and um, and then and then get it trimmed up when it's because I can feel it's like super thick right here. But then like the ends are still kind of like you know the ends that were way up here when it was short. So yeah, I'm kind of like hanging on. But um, this is wonderful. If you guys haven't tried one of these, a tangle teaser, so good. I gave these to people for Christmas. They have ones that look a little different, like you know these. They have ones that look like this, the ones that look a little rounded, but it's kind of the same thing. But so great, love that. Um, it's like my no, I can't live without the thing. I love it. Something else that I gave to so many people this year for Christmas. Y'all, this towel has just become like, I know it's so silly, but literally, you guys, this is life changing. And I know you're like, a towel? What's funny? Listen, for your hair. And I also bought the little turban version. I don't like this as much. I feel like it kind of like pulls on my hair when it's up. I just don't love that. Um, but you guys, this is the best towel. It's for your hair when you get out of the shower. I feel like sometimes like towels are just too heavy for my hair. I don't want to like rough it up. I gave one of these to my sister-in-law who has very curly hair and she's very prone to like frizz and stuff like that. And she texted me, I think like the next day and was like, oh my gosh. And I gave her one of these, um, tangle teasers too. The one that is actually for curly and frizzy hair. And she was like, so good. Like, you know, she's like, I, I really, really love both of these things. Like, so she was so excited about that. It's just such a great towel. I use it on myself, I use it on Olivia. I love it so much. When I go on trips and stuff, I like miss it because I'm like, I need my towel. But I feel like I really hit a lot of good things. And I know, I just, I know that I'm going to like find something later and be like, Tiffany, how did you not mention that? But, um, and I'm looking around and I'm like, if I see something, I'll just have to keep talking. I have a more hair specific video coming up um, where I want to kind of like answer some questions and talk about all kinds of stuff. The next video I'm posting is my uh, my New Year's, New Year's resolutions slash goals. I really don't like the resolutions. But I don't know, the goals, personal things, kind of reflecting on this past year, feelings, um, things like that. I know you guys usually love videos like that when I talk about things like that. And a surprise unboxing, or maybe not so surprise. I don't know, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be kind of a combo. So that's gonna be coming up uh, next. So check my channel here on Friday in just a few days. And let me think, is there anything else, you guys? Um, I just love you all so much. Thank you for such a wonderful year. This has been the best year. I feel like I say that every year, but every year everything um, I do feel gets better and changes 
for the better, but you know, new experiences, new things to talk about, new things as I think that we're all kind of growing. You know, I think that you know, years ago I said, well, am, am I gonna run out of stuff to talk about? I remember my very first year on YouTube, my very first month on YouTube, I'm like, what am I even gonna talk about next month? You know, like how am I gonna think of other videos to talk about? What am I gonna talk about? And you know, here I am all these years later and it's like I just can't have, I just, I have so many things I want to share. And as we grow older, oh, that's bad. As we grow older together and wiser, as we grow, as we grow together, I feel like we'll always have something new to share. Or, you know, like this year, just even with all the different things that I did or different things that we talked about, you know, it's just different experiences. I think that we'll never really run out of things to share and talk about with each other. And I love that. I love that we have this community. And I'll get deeper about that and um, some other things that I wanna talk about in the next video. So um, I'll see you guys then. If you wanna check out any of this stuff, I will, um, I'll link to it. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for a wonderful 2019. I wish you guys all the best. I hope you have the best year ever. Okay, you guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful few days until I see you again, here again on Friday. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all then. Love you, bye.